The rapid transit system project linking Johor Bahru and Singapore will go ahead after the projected cost was reduced by 36 percent, ending months of uncertainty over the delayed project. Dun Dr. Mahathir said today the cost has gone down from 4.9 billion ringgit to 3.2 billion ringgit. Uh, but we will build the, the train, the train to connect with the LRT. Uh, that has already been decided. We will go ahead with that project, and that project uh, will mean that uh, we will solve a little bit the problem of Kesesna uh, Kandalulintas. The new RTS project would involve changes to the project structure, scope and specifications. An important feature of the revised project structure of the RTS link is the involvement of the developer or owner of the Bukit Chaga land to fund and enable the project with the land costs waived. Coupled with optimized costs in construction and rail systems, the government would achieve substantial savings, hence making the project more financially viable. The RTS, which will bridge one of the world's busiest border crossings, can carry up to 10,000 passengers an hour each way, more than 30 times the capacity of the existing train service.